telling me about how it's really not that expensive to get a bigger bike, how it doesn't cost that much more. Um, getting a bike with shaken, which is like mandatory inspection, you have to pay for it every couple years. He was telling me how the taxes and all that, when you really look at it, it's really not a whole lot more. And then you just gotta, you know, consider the parts that are a little bit more expensive. That little house there. And so I was telling him, yeah, I could, I could get a, I could get a bigger bike. It's not a whole lot more. Look at all these planes here, all these Cessnas and other small biplanes. You can take a look at these. I, I made another video be before when I came by here. It really sucked, actually. I should make a better video. But all these trailers here for transporting the planes, which I think is pretty cool. Cool little place. And looks like they're mowing the grass. Anyway, they were, we, we got on to talking, how could I finance it? And like, yeah, it's really not a whole, that much. I could, I could uh, stop making, you know, all these videos and work harder, <laughs> work harder, make more money. I could uh, just tell my kids, oh, sorry, I don't have money for your education. I got a new bike. Ain't it cool? Um, then we got to talking, well, I, I could sell an organ or two, you know. Maybe I could sell my testicles. I could, you know, like uh, they're proven to work. I've got four kids, so, you know, they're used, but the value is high because, you know, it's a proven thing. It's a sure thing, you know, that they're going to work. And then he sent me this, uh, I don't know what it is, he sent me this photo of, like, you know, testicles selling for whatever, whatever. Like, whoa, serious? <laughs> Anyways, but, you know, then, 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 you know, I have a dilemma there. I could sell my balls, but then, you know, I wouldn't have the balls to ride a bigger bike. They'd just say, sorry, you don't have the balls for it. And so we got to talking more about, you know, well, you know, how could we, how could, how could I do this, you know? Can I get a bigger bike? I really want a bigger bike and all that sort of stuff. But then it got me thinking, you know, dude, does I could I could uh, spend more time saving money, working more, working harder, getting a bigger bike, but then I wouldn't have the time to ride it. I wouldn't have as much time to ride it. Oh. And then we came around full circle and I said, well, or I could just keep my bike and have all the time that I want to ride it, you know? And got me thinking well how, how much how much more fun is a bigger bike is it worth it you know how much uh, how much happiness are we talking about here like I already smile you know I already have a big smile on my face when I get to go out riding and I get to explore and stuff like that how much bigger is my smi smile actually going to be you know when when I'm uh, riding a bigger bike is it you know how, how long is that gonna last and and the thing is I don't know if you've read those articles about like uh, uh, experiences versus possessions or you know what you should spend your time on you know or your money on what's what's going to give you the most happiness look at that rice has been planted looks like rain off in the distance everything's turning really green Anyway, I mean, the conclusion I came to uh, after that little chat is like, well, I could, I could, and every time I ride with, uh, you know, guys with bigger bikes, I, I wanna, I wanna get a bigger bike, and then, and people when they ask, hey, so when are you gonna upgrade? When are you gonna get a bigger bike? And then I feel like, oh yeah, maybe I should upgrade. And another downside is, you know, if you're on Instagram and you're posting pictures of your bike and you, you're getting into the whole bike-like thing, and I think especially if you're a motovlogger or, you know, you're trying, you know, you have a channel and stuff like that, and you watch other successful motovloggers and then they're buying bikes, a new bike every two years, or they, they've got two bikes or three, or they've, you know, and you, and you really, and then you start to compare, and comparing is one of those things that really eat away at your happiness. It's, it's one of those things, and, and um, you know, that's why they say don't, you know, instead of buying things, uh, why things, the happiness of, of buying something new wears quickly is because 
you know, one, it, it, you think that buying something that you're going to use all the time or that's going to stay with you forever, you think that that happiness will last you as long as that thing lasts you. But it's not like that. The happiness wears fairly quickly as you get used to it. And, you know, another thing is that you, you tend to compare and, and, and it leads to like, uh, your expectations get higher and, you, and you, you expect more, you expect something better. You want something of a higher quality. That's how, usually how, you know, how we, we tend to think about these kind of things. And then, of course, there's always the comparing with the Joneses and wanting to keep up with, like, well, hey, so-and-so's got a bigger bike, so-and-so's got a better bike or a faster bike or it's newer, shinier, fancier, louder, all that sort of stuff. So, I mean, those are the kind of the, you know, the downsides to, to that I found with, with the whole bike life thing, you know, and, and being on social media and making YouTube videos and, 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 you know, posts on Instagram, you see everybody else's feed, you see everybody else's bike, and then you think like, oh, yeah, I really should upgrade, I really should change that, I really should get this and that and you know and that's that eats away your happiness really it does and this is not going to be a popular thing i'm never going to get endorsed or anything like that if i'm talking like this you know but the reality is here's the thing like i could you know i don't need to sell an arm and a leg i don't need to sell you know testicles or, or other organs you know to get a big bike and to be happy it's like what do i really want to what do I want to spend my time on, you know, and money on? Is that really gonna, you know, give me the amount of happiness that I'm looking for? That's the question. And I think for me, the answer is, um, it will a little bit, but not enough. You know, it won't give me enough happiness for me to warrant spending that much money. I'm already getting a, a plenty of happiness and, and joy and, and satisfaction from riding my current bike, which is a, it's you know a 250 BTR 250. It's a good-looking machine. It's gone 31,000 kilometers in the last two years for me, and I haven't had any trouble with it. So it's been fantastic. I don't need a newer, bigger, faster more expensive bike to have the experiences I think that that will bring me happiness you know and then to balance that though you do need some things you know some possessions do allow you to have certain experiences like for example this bike I you know I'm really glad I got it and having this bike having bought it and all that allows me to go riding and have have like awesome experiences with my friends too riding uh, building relationships even and, and exploring and things like that so there's something said to be said for that but then I don't know if having a, a leader bike will be you know four times offer four times the joy I don't know maybe it will those of you guys who have upgraded from a 250 to a leader bike will it you know does your smile actually get four times bigger does the joy, you know, that you experience and the happiness you experience, you know, quadruple? I don't know. I haven't been there, but you guys can tell me. Maybe it will. So this is not to say that I don't want to upgrade and that I don't, that I don't want a bigger bike every time that I go to the bike shop or, um, you know, I see a good bike, I admire it and I think like, wow, wouldn't it be cool? I want that. But... I'm learning here. I'm telling myself that, hey, you know what? This bike is good enough. It's gonna, it, it gets me around. It's economical. So in conclusion, guys, do you need a bigger bike to be happy? You know, from my limited experience, having not ridden a bigger bike, but kind of you know going through this in my mind I, I would say like no I, I think I can have plenty of happiness and plenty of the experiences uh, that I want 
which is to explore Japan, to ride around Japan, have fun commuting on a 250 without having to buy a bigger bike, without having to get a more expensive, newer bike. Tell me if you what you think, guys. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of a lot of hate about this.